what's going on Taha Photo here today we are outdoors as you can see we are not in the studio which is a nice switch nice change of pace I'm still wearing black so I am still sweating here but it is nice to be outdoors now today's topic is something that is prevalent in all types of photography but street photography specifically since that's what I do and that is cliche street photography images. You know the ones. The one that just popped in your mind right now, that one. Your whole IG feed, those ones. A ton of YouTube videos with lo-fi beats, those images. However, I want to explore what we can actually learn from shooting cliche images to elevate our storytelling game. All right, so before we get into anything, let us get down to the definition of a cliche. Okay, so the dictionary says here, a cliche is an element of an artistic work saying or idea that has become overused to the point of losing its original meaning or effect especially when at some earlier time it was considered meaningful or novel okay so let's break this down a little bit have you ever caught yourself photographing the corner of a vintage car or maybe going down a side street and then seeing some beautiful flowers and saying you know i gotta i gotta photograph that that's crazy or how about somebody walking through your frame that has like an umbrella and you're just waiting for that stride so they can just slide through your frame? If you've done any of those things, then you 100% have shot a cliche photo on the streets. But there's gotta be a positive side to it, so I wanna talk about that right now. Okay, so what can we actually learn from cliche captures? So number one, dig deeper. So if you feel like you're approaching a cliche scene or location or subject, ask yourself these simple questions. Have I seen this image somewhere before? Is this perspective new or unique? Does this image provide inspiration? Ask yourself these questions and then you'll at least feel better about what you're about to document. Find inspiration from different eras. So if everything right now is trending 90s film and a certain look, cars, whatever it is, Look what's going on in the 30s, in the 40s, and see why that might be interesting to you, not to anybody else, to you. This will kind of open up a new door of, for sure, like perspective, um, location, subjects. It's just something that you're not used to seeing, so you're gonna naturally gravitate towards that. So really search through the different eras. Okay, so number three, seek out new locations and subjects. Sounds easy, right? Nope. That sounds like hard work to me, but in the long run, you'll be thankful that you did it. So maybe do some research about the area you're just about to document and see what the history is. That will give you a good indication just how much it's been documented and then you can kind of go from there. And here's a thought that I had earlier. Maybe switch your mindset to thinking you're discovering a future cliche. Therefore, you're like the first to do it and you'll be excited and inspired to shoot something that nobody shot. I mean, I'm just putting it out there. You let me know. And I get it, like our minds are cluttered with so many other people's work. Especially when you get really passionate about the field that you're in. You, you, you have all your heroes in your mind. You have people that are on the come up that maybe have thought of something brilliant that you haven't thought about. Plus you're perfecting your own work. You put all that stuff together, it's hard to really stay unique and stay polished in your own lane. So we kind of have to look to other work, but we also have to say to ourselves, have I seen that before? You really gotta research what you're doing to understand if you're being unique to yourself. All right, so number four, have a focus. So if you find yourself at like a cliche scene or a, a cliche subject comes into your frame, regardless, just acknowledge that you're already in a postcard type area or this is a postcard type portrait that you're about to shoot and then just right then and there try to flip the angle the perspective within that so have a focus on avoiding all the cliches that are in your mind on how you should shoot this new scene it might be a lot at once but the more you practice not getting excited about shooting the same thing then uh, you kind of avoid the cliches like it's the plague. You'll just be going opposite of cliche, even in a cliched scene or subject. And finally, number five, get it out of your system. Cliche or not, if you're feeling it, you gotta shoot it. How are you gonna know if it's corny to you or not if you don't shoot it? If you bypass that sunset, you're always gonna wonder, man, I should have shot that, even though it's a cliche. 
I think the point is to get better at that. You document those photos, look back and go, absolutely, I'll never do that again. I'm not into that type of photography. I'm tired of this cliche. Everybody shoots this shot. We've all been there. But I think if you don't give yourself permission to even try it, then you're actually closing off your creative side of your brain uh, when it comes to what you're feeling, right? So we're in this creative space because we're tired of people telling us what to do or telling us when to do it. And then there you go, not shooting a cliche image because you're worried what other people might think or what you might think you might think. Man, I don't even know what I was just saying there, but you, you get my point. It's always better, cliche or not, to get the shot out of your system and then you can move on and keep it moving. All right, so as always, I've got my question of the day and today the question is this. Do you knowingly still shoot cliche images? And if so, has it changed or improved your photography? Be real in the comments. Okay, so my takeaway from today and talking about cliche photo images, specifically in street photography, but really all types of photography, cliche images are just there to remind you that you need to evolve, grow, improve, get inspired. You're kind of in a rut. You know it's a cliche, you shot it, 10, 15 times yourself, it's kind of making you depressed or hating photography or annoyed, yet you're still doing it. So it's almost like a turning point in your photography. In that moment, it's elevating you to push yourself to something bigger. So in the end, we kind of need the cliche and that's a cliche in itself, right? You need the cliche to push you to get away from shooting cliches. It takes time looking back at your work, looking at your edits, looking at what you did a couple of years ago and the stuff that you did last week. The evolution, is it there? I came to a point where I had to evolve, change, switch, move forward, get past it. And so I did. But enough about all that. At the end of the day, you gotta grow and cliches will definitely help you grow. So I hope it makes you think at least a little bit about your own images and what you can do different going forward. All right, so until the next video, Try to stay cliche free and never stop believing in yourself. Peace.